we humans have been using energy for as long as we've been around. Um, we extract energy from our environments in various ways. Food is the most basic form of energy, and then we, we exert energy into our environment by way of muscle power. We've been doing that for a very long time, and gradually using our, our intelligence, our opposable thumbs, language, all of these special gifts, we've been able to increase our ability to extract energy from the environment by way of fire, agriculture, harnessing animals to carts and sleds and all kinds of things. But with fossil fuels, we came across an energy source that was far beyond anything we had been using previously. Those of us who are alive today uh, take fossil fuels for granted. We've always had them around. It doesn't matter whether you're 20 years old or 70 years old, we've all grown up during this unique historic period of cheap, abundant energy from coal, oil, and natural gas. One of the ways that you can tell, one of the sectors where you can see most easily how fossil fuel has transformed our way of life in this country is when you consider that a century ago, half of Americans were farmers. Now that number is under 1%. We have lots of oil doing the work of lots of people. That's had some benefits. We have incredible amount of cheap food. But uh, as we've begun to understand even in the last few years, even that's not the greatest benefit in the world. It's one reason that Americans are now fat and you know, um, we have too much of that stuff. So we're gonna have to stop taking for granted our use of energy. On the one hand, at least as it comes to oil, it's not gonna be there anymore. Obviously, when I get into the car and I start up the engine, I step on the gas and I go someplace, I don't most of the time think about uh, all of the effort of all those people out there drilling oil wells and pumping oil out of the ground and shipping it to a refinery and producing gasoline. I just think of where I'm going and uh, the pleasure I'm going to have or the purchase I'm going to make or whatever. The United States of America is where everything gets sold. More or less one out of a little over every $3 privately spent on consumption in the whole world is being spent here in the United States. That's kind of staggering. Our job in the world is to buy everything. So we have 4.5% of the world's population and we do a little more than 30% of the world's private consumption. And the global economy relies on the United States as the consumption point. So more or less, when we ran out of our own money, they were happy and in fact had to lend us our own money back to keep buying because there's no other place for the world to produce, export to, and have do all that consumption. We are that place. There's this great line by Zygmunt Bauman, the rational people go quietly, meekly into a gas chamber if only allow them to believe it's a bathroom. And I'll say that rational people go quietly, meekly to the end of the world if only you allow them to believe that buying energy-saving bulbs is going to save the day. I have kids. Um, I want, I want, you know, peace on earth. I want all good things. And yet, I found that people that also want those things unable to realize that, um, you know, that, that we're all a huge part of this problem. <laughs>